saying that overdose. Can you repeat that without saying what? Say that again. That the, that the law actually was meant, and it clearly stated, meant against athletes. You athletes who and abuse this to compete and win an edge over your friends and the colleagues is, is a crime. They should say that. They didn't. Most of them don't. Second, they should say, if you use growth hormone and overdose it in order to achieve an advantage over another person, you are crime. They don't say that. So take away those two, it becomes any given growth adult for any purpose is a crime. And when we get old, we'll go home and we want to get, when, 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 in 1994, when I want to give to old people, go home, they said, the felony, Dr. Chen. I said, fine, come and get me, arrest me. And that, that's why I was arrested. I was charged with nine counts of, 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 of indictment. And, and nine counts for five years to count, there would be a lot of years behind prison if I lost. But lucky, I, 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 I consulted attorneys, I consulted lawyers, I, I, I was prepared, and I'm a, a, a law degree myself. And I, I, I know that I would win this on the federal, in the federal court. If not in the state court, I will win on the federal court on the basis of constitutionality. You know, it's unconstitutional to discriminate against old people. You know, and then, and, 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 and uh, sure enough, the judge dismissed all my, 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 my nine counts. And I became the, 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 the person who walked the rock Red Sea. And every doctor, you know, you, you get, gives goals someone without fear. Of, of prosecution, you know. Thank you for uh, doing that. Thank you for standing up. Yeah. Thank you very uh, much. But, I'm sure that it was pretty chilling to have the agencies go after you the way they did. It, it, it's pretty scary to have handcuffs put on your hands, yeah. So, or doctor. So now, here's another thing. I know it's a sensitive subject, but I want to broach this with you in scope of work that you're doing. Isn't there a way eventually, where HGH can be given to people in a way that it's not so expensive? Absolutely. Because Absolutely. not everybody can do thousands of dollars a month to be on bioidentical hormones and HGH. Some people said uh -huh. to me, Dr. Chen, anti-aging doctors only care about rich people staying young. They are not available, they're inaccessible, and they don't care to make the breakthroughs available in an affordable way to the average person. And you know what? That's been my experience. I love anti-aging doctors, and I love the field, but that's what I've noticed. If you don't make several hundred thousand dollars a year or make over a certain amount of money, you're not going to be able to go in and pay those fees. So I just hope that maybe one day something can be set up for people who really are committed to their health and will be able to do this. What do you think about it? I have a very strong comment about that. Please. And I think that I think that hope, like you do, is honorable, but that's not enough. You have to take it into action. And that by that I mean if you, the audience, is interested in replacing and supplementing your hormones you should know that the most expensive one is human growth hormone, and the other hormones are very, very cheap, okay? In my office, you can replace all the hormones below 200 a month. That's how cheap it is, okay? And even though I make a profit, I tell you, I make a profit in order to live. I have to, right? I'm not stupid and give, give, give away uh, at cost. So even at 200 and replacing all the other hormones, I'm making a living, okay? A good living. So, so... So that's not very expensive, but, but the most expensive one actually is the human growth hormone. The human growth hormone, but don't, don't just hope. Go to the internet and you search for the price per unit. You will find that the internet averages about the lowest $8 to $9 a unit. So armed with that information, you can go to your doctor who gives growth hormone anti-aging and say, doc, how many units do I need a week? Ten, all right. Ten times nine, or the lowest in the internet is eight. That's 80 bucks, Doc. Let's negotiate how much money you want to make over me. I let you make money because you're a doc, you know, 
you went to education and you become a dying, you, you, you're licensed and all that stuff. You have staff to keep. Yeah, but I don't want you to make a lot of money over me. I know 10, 10 80 bucks a week is, is your cost, okay? I know that from internet. You know, with the internet, we know cost now. So I, let's negotiate our profit. How about two times that, 190, you know, a week? You know, you can break cost, number one. Number two is that if you know the cost is 800, you can make up the, 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 the laissez fairway. way. You can group together a bunch of investors and say, hey, they are selling at $8 a unit. Can we make this stuff under FDA and build a factory and offer stock and go, go, go Genentech number two or Eli Lilly number three, form a company and make this stuff at $1? And let me tell you, growth hormone is made from E. coli, the bacteria, the bacteria from our shit. Yes. Okay. I'm in the shock. I'm in shock. Bacteria. I'm totally in shock. We are not even raising animals to make growth hormone. We are raising millions of free bacteria to make growth hormone. So it is very cheap once that machine you know the the the, the ferment the fer- fermentator is, is is made is purchased, which costs a few million dollars. But but once that that cost is fixed, it, once it's done, it 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 cranks out growth hormone dirt cheap, dirt cheap. So the spread on this is mammoth. Mammoth, yes. It's they um. So we as in uh, you know uh, we a group. There's a group, and, and you have to be interested. Like I said, you have to do more than hope. You know, take action, form an investors group, start a Lily company number three, Genentech number four, whatever you call it, make growth home. Not only will we make a bundle, but we also help ourselves lower the cost. If we start selling ours at $5 a unit, Eli Lilly's really going to drop theirs to five. We dropped up to two, they all dropped up to two. You see, that's how you, in, in laissez-faire uh, country, freedom and economics, that's how you bring down the price competition. Just sitting there, hope is not going to bring down a lot of Lily's price. Oh, absolutely. But my other question to you is, years ago, when Ron Klatz, who wrote a whole book on HGH, advocated it, and then about nine years ago, I spoke to him, and he was advocating the Eli Lilly precursor sprays. I realize it's sensitive because he's the head of the A4M. And it's sensitive in the sense of what's the story with the sprays? The sprays are obviously totally distinct, and they're not the injectable HGH. What is your take on the distinction, and do you agree with that or not? Let me ask our audience, and let's pick a high school dropout from the audience, all right? And let's ask him this question. There are two products in front of him. One, a vial of growth hormone. One, a spray in the mouth, also called growth hormone. The law, law is growth hormone is regulated by the United States FDA. Okay, it's regulated. And, and, and to the point where the doctor gives it to an adult as a felony. Now, let's tell this high school dropout that the vial is regulated. If FDA uh, regulated and the spray is not. Let's let's ask this high school dropouts. Which one do you think has the real growth hormone? Which one has the fake growth hormone? Don't you think the answer is obvious? Yeah, certainly the way you put the question, uh, it's obvious. It, you know, anybody selling a spray, I would actually take him, sir. Come with me to the police station, please. And I would like to tell right in front of the police officer that this is a vial of growth hormone. You do that in front of the police officer. I'll buy it. I think what's on the market are spray what are called precursors. Oh, precursors, pardon me. How can you equate precursors to, to, to growth hormone? It's like you wanting to build a house and I bring bricks and four by four to your house and say, here it is your house. Would you buy that? No. Okay. So why do you buy this garbage anyway? You want to build a house? You want to build a house? You hire architect and do it the real thing. You don't go to you don't go you don't go to just oh the architect expenses. Let me go to a plumber and get some four by fours and get some bricks and 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 and, 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 and you know with bricks you can build it. You are calling your body 
it's by taking this bricks and four by fours, expect the body to make gold home out of it. Hey, that's 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 asking.